Hello, welcome to Cinderella 2023 model presentation, Watford Palace Theatre. Here is the front cloth and the show title that portrays Watford High Street in 1999. You see some old fashioned elements of Watford and still familiar elements. There's the theatre, various things. And it is very much in the theme of video games, Super Mario Brothers, that sort of vibe. Show sign removed. And the cloth flies out to reveal Watford Market. Just added the Watford Market sign. Um, yeah, there's um, the opening of the toilets happening here. The king will cut the cord. Those are the new public toilets. And bugger, the rest is self-explanatory. In this market scene, um, the dame sells fruit and vegetables there and various other ensemble are working at the different stalls and hopefully well and the toilets being opened hopefully every audience member will have flashbacks to Watford legendary indoor market we leave the market and go back into front cloth scene where the king comes out to here and his trousers fall down and other such hilarious things and the front cloth flies back out to reveal Griselda's walk-in wardrobe set so she's she's had a this room decorated um, so when we first see it there'll be lots of decorators coming and going and sheets draped across these things which will get removed and they will all leave and it's a newly decorated walk-in wardrobe and now a second front cloth flies in which is outside the palace outside the palace cloth um, Pinna Palace with uh, Elton John Topiri you may spot and here we have some computer game characters come to life and that sort of mayhem ensues. Okay, second front cloth flies out to reveal Cinderella's cellar. Classic dame in last year's outfit, but uh, to give a sense of scale. A lot of hiding going on in this scene, as demonstrated. And this door opens. Which way? That way. And front cloth back in. Back to the prince wandering about in the palace gardens in his pyjamas, mulling things over. Back to the walk-in wardrobe, where we shall have some additional furniture. Um, three chairs, probably three makeup tables to be confirmed. Um, we might need to move some of this to make space for that. We haven't um, gone through that stuff yet. But anyway, this is the slop scene. The beauty treatment slop scene now. So then, out flies this again. And we're back into Cinderella's cellar. There'll be a TV set in there, probably on the floor. And she fiddles with the aerial. The fairies here. Magic is happening. Then we, and I hope I'm right, um, black out this. So 
suppose some downstage magic can happen. And whilst that's there, the Cinderella cellar is removed, um, the plane comes forward, and then it's backed with the star cloth, and the split in it, and is therefore able to fly. Let's go up and down like this. Maybe a bit of this. Woohoo! End of Act One. The Interval. Act Two starting up. We come out of Watford High Street into the Palace Millennium Countdown Party. Very G, Fanny G, Dame is DJ. Um, Cinderella is behind that curtain and gets revealed as a pop star in a pop star moment. And we were talking about these the white squares of these stairs lighting up, um, which would be great, fingers crossed. Other than that, it's just a big explosion of part here. And also, there's hopefully digital countdown clock going on in those squares there in the DJ booth. Cinderella runs off in a panic. And this cloth comes in. She's run to outside the palace. She drops a shoe and they come and find the shoe here outside the palace. We're back in the walk-in wardrobe. I would like to point out, this is what I would do in a meeting, Put these, just put these wardrobes flat on at the back. There's so many scene changes, I'm already getting really bored of doing them <laughs> in small. Um, I'm going to propose that those wardrobes get painted onto the backdrop, because I don't think we'll miss them if they're not 3D. It's just one less thing to move about. Um, Yep. Okay, so yep, back in the walk-in wardrobe where everybody is massively hungover. It is the morning after the night before. We're back outside the palace where the prince is hungover. Everyone's really hungover for ages. <laughs> and then when we go out of this scene, we go back into Cinderella's cellar. She's probably the only one who isn't hungover, her and Furby. Ugly sisters are spying on her a lot. Possibly through the door. Around here. And they hear her. They work it out. So they lock her in the cellar. That door is locked. She's very much locked in the cellar. And then and then we're back in the high street where we meet the prince again. And he's out trying the shoe on people. So along comes our, our evil people to try on the shoe in the high street. And obviously it doesn't fit. And then from that we go back into the cellar as the magic dance mat calls and the prince bursts in through that door. And we know what happens next. Or well, the shoe fits in the cellar. Song sheet happens on the high street. Um, some, you know, great tune everybody hates. <laughs> and then out goes the front cloth to a very celebratory market scene with bunting. Everybody coming down the stairs, over there at the back. And the whole theme is red, white and blue. And, um, and yet again, I forgot on the market sign. Maybe we don't need it, I don't know, because the only worry I have about it is it might block out the Christmas tree a little bit. But that's what it looks like with it in. Mm. But also... The bunting doesn't have, it, have to be exactly like that. It could be at the sides. So, anyway, essentially... Oh, that looks terrible. I'll take that out. Essentially, the end, and uh, very happy.
very happy and triumphant. Audience are loving it and everything's excellent. <laughs> to be completely proper. I will fly the front cloth in again to conclude. Probably a lovely Christmas medley. Some explosions of fun. And everybody goes home very happy and satisfied. The end.